Uh, that nutrition get the best of me, I bet that you won't rest me I conquered all my demons, so I'm strong, they ain't nothing left me Went through the storm to make things right within, but in the end I win I fought the battle, but again I win, I win, I win I fought the battle, but again I win, I win, I win I fought the battle, but again I win, I win, I win Went through the storm to make things right within, but in the end I win I fought the battle, but again I win, I win, yeah Hey, how's it going, Fit Fam? Welcome to Cooking with the Chief. This is our debut show. We're going to cover a lot of information in a short period of time, but I hope you're able to get the information that we're going to put out because I'm going to tell you, it helped change my life and I know it's going to help change yours. Today, I got a special treat for you a little Polynesian infusion. I spent a little time in Hawaii and then when I was there, I really, really embraced the culture and loved the food. So I figured, how can I continue to eat healthy? with a twist. You know, a lot of Polynesian food or, or, or uh, a food that you would uh, uh, get in Asia has a lot of rice. So sometimes you have to change up what you're doing, okay? So today we'll be making what I call a California pineapple bowl, all right? And instead of a rice base, we'll be using cauliflower. So you, so you see the little word play with California, okay? In our bowls, we're gonna have shrimp. I chose to have some uh, some brown, gulf, gulf brown shrimp. Uh, love the taste and the texture. Uh, we're also going to have, we're also going to be uh, incorporating some salmon, which is definitely good for our fat and our protein. We want to get those good fats, omega, those omega fatty acids. Folks like myself who was battling, you know, I was very high on the cholesterol chart. My LDL was 213. And if you guys know what that means, I was 113 points well over the scale, okay? And didn't even know it. I thought I was fit. I was what they call sometimes skinny fat. Looked good on the outside, very bad on the inside. So both the salmon and the shrimp provides with a good source of uh, protein and good fat. Uh, if you choose to go a pescatarian route, then this meal will be right up your alley. All right, so first off, like I said, we got some salmon I picked up from the local grocer, uh, about two pounds of salmon, uh, cut and filleted. I got a pound of shrimp. First thing you're going to want to do is clean that shrimp off, deshell it, devein it, get it nice and clean, get all that, that, that junk up out of there. Okay, then you want to grab you some pineapples, all right? Because this is key. This is what your bowl is going to be made out of, all right? And like I said, we got some cauliflower that we're going to turn into our rice, all right? It's some good looking stuff right here. And then all the seasonings and herbs to make these bowls. Mwah. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and take our pineapples. And we're going to make our bowls, okay? Now, we're going to want these bowls to have, you know, to look pretty nice, right? So you're going to want to keep the head on the pineapple. So first thing you're going to want to do is sharp knife, slice it down the middle, like so, watching your fingers. Spin it around, come down the other side, and chop it right down the middle, like so. And voila, it's magic, baby. All right, so from there, what you're gonna to wanna to do is make a nice little outline in your bowl, like so. Make it like a little grid, so that way it's easier to scoop out. And we're gonna use an ice cream scooper. That's the best thing you can use. And we're gonna hold on to all this pineapple. Okay, so we got our ice cream scooper. And we're just gonna go ahead and scoop all the chunks of pineapple out, like so. Making sure that we don't let anything go to waste. This is gonna be used later. And the one thing about pineapple, let me tell you something. Not only did I have high cholesterol, I had diabetes, okay, type two. And with that, I gotta mention that pineapple was medium on the glycemic index. So whenever you're going to eat something like pineapple or pineapple juice, you want to mix it with foods that aren't so high on the glycemic index so that way you don't spike your insulin or you spike your sugar. That is key. All right. 
right, so now that we have our bowl scooped out, we've made sure that we saved it. We don't want any of this stuff to go to waste. That pineapple, pineapple can be used for any type of recipe later. However, once again, like I said, remember it is moderate, medium on the glycemic index. So if you're watching your sugar, don't go ham with this pineapple. No pun intended. All right, so our bowls have a nice base to them. So we'll be able to stack a whole lot of cauliflower into this bowl right here. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start our pans, get our pans going and uh, put a little olive oil in there. And we're gonna start off with our salmon. Reason why we're gonna start with our salmon because it's gonna take longer to cook, obviously. All right, and then we'll throw our shrimp in there. Cauliflower rice takes no time at all, so just stand by. All right, so now it's salmon time, baby. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of our Mediterranean seasonings, bring a little on there, like so. Okay, we got here some Flavor Mate Original Blend. Now this right here is salt free. Okay, so if you're trying to watch your uh, blood pressure and you don't want to put salt in your food, then here you go. This should be a very good alternative. Put a little of that on the salmon. Okay, and I always like to drizzle a little olive oil, even though there's olive oil in the pan. It just makes the, everything stick a little better. We'll get some on the backside, like so. You know, if you know anything about olive oil, once again, good fat, good fat, guys. Okay, and this, that's what you need. That's what you need. Your body needs fat. Whenever you want to uh, cut out carbohydrates and have, and have good protein, your body needs to have fat. Your body needs fat because it will use fat as an alternative fuel source. We are flex fuel. Never forget that. So our bodies do a thing called glyconeogenesis, where... If you look at the word glyconeogenesis, the word glyco is sugar, the word neo is new, and genesis is creation. So your body has its own ability to create sugar when it's the absence of carbohydrates, okay? So remember that. When you're gonna start doing your intermittent fasting and things like that, you wanna put good fat in your body, okay? So go ahead and uh, put a little olive oil here on these good shrimp. We can season those up also. Okay, little med on that. Take a little bit of this pink Himalayan salt. Just a little, just a little. All right, and of course, you gotta have some black pepper. That's a must. And split these bad boys over. A little of that black pepper on the front. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. All right, so now that we got our salmon and our shrimp seasoned, let's get hot. Alright, put a little bit of our med season in there. 
give it a good shake. Okay, a little bit of pepper. Man, it looks good just the way it is. And splash the olive oil. That's all it takes. All right, that's all it takes. We're gonna transfer this over into our pan midway through as our fish is cooking. Uh, Cause we really want to be nice and fresh. All right, stand by. You see our fish, our salmon getting nice and uh, nice and uh, cooked. We're gonna go ahead and turn it down a little bit. Time for these shrimp to go in. Add a little bit of this extra pineapple. Why not, eh? Oh yeah. Just let it all cook together. Let it all cook together. Alright, so now that our fish is done, our salmon is done, our shrimp is done, I'm going to go ahead and sit it to the side just for a brief second. Okay, oh, look at this. Go ahead and pour these bad boys in here. Them chill for a second. Bring over our pan for our got it. Got power right there. Somebody coming up shelf. This one yellows. Okay. Pan okay, back over. We want to take some nice pieces of our salmon. Here in our bowls like so. Don't worry, I'm gonna make some more, some more cauliflower rice, guys. It's super quick. No trouble at all. Trust your boy. Trust the chief. And you ever know when they say trust chief, you know what that means? That means trust chief. <laughs> All right. This in there. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just go command over it. Break that fish all up in there like so. Oh mm, my goodness. Alright, now we're gonna take some shrimp. <laughs> Put our shrimp in the bowl. Continues to help out veterans to this day. My wife Tamika. Y'all give Tamika a round of applause, y'all. Here you go, baby. There you go. So guys, look, it's not that hard. We can do this together. Alright? We've done so much together already. I thank you all for coming in, watching our first pilot episode of Cooking with the Chief here at Goat Dog Yoga Ranch Retreat and Spa, and I hope to see you all come again. Hey, don't forget, hit like, share, 
and subscribe.